So for geothermal power, that is very interesting. Remember, ice mining is mainly powered by geothermal power. It's it it's because of its unique location. Now I want you to recall the um, plate tectonics. Okay, so the continents of the world, uh, some of, of of them are drifting apart, some of of them are pushing together. So at those faults, okay, the most active area when the two plates are colliding together or drifting apart from each other. Those are most active area for the geothermal power to use. And I want you to think about Iceland, why Iceland is so active using this kind of power. And this is a very smart design in this graph. Uh, in winter, you use the geothermal power to heat up your house and in summer you use this heat pump to cool down the hot, uh, hot air from outside. I will not test the details. I just want you um, to understand that only different locations of the world can use geothermal power. And more than one quarter of energy consumption globally in the United States go towards transportation. And more than 90% of transportation energy is provided by oil and gas. I would say mainly uh, petroleum products uh, refined from oil. To the simple way to reduce energy use is to increase biking and public transportation. And the public transportation works in the area, uh, best of the area of higher population and driving energy efficient vehicles is another method i have any work for you to explore ethanol ethanol is not cheap and the main conflicts of developing ethanol is a conflict of between energy and the food so using biomass has its limitations but it is much cleaner and it is much better uh, for the carbon emission. And electric vehicles, they waste less energy as heat. So they are four times more efficient than gas powered vehicles. Remember when we burn something, the heat already dissipated and we cannot use that form of heat to do anything. So this is the advantage of electrical cars. They do not depend on burning of the fuels. So that's why they are more energy efficient. Also, if the uh, vehicle also have fewer moving parts, so the friction, the energy we stay in the friction, that goes down too. And the most of you, uh, electrical vehicles today are powered by lithium ion batteries that can be recharged. Fuel cells is um, very good, but it is expensive. The solution project, um, I don't have time to uh, put the results for Texas here, but I think this is a really cool thing. The UC Berkeley determined how each of the 50 United States could shift to entirely renewable energy by 2050. So probably we need to do a research. How can we shift to the renewable energy in Texas? And keep your mind open, okay? This is a time of rapid technology advancement. Several countries are very ambitious. They set goals to be free of gas and diesel cars, with Norway's goal being 2025, because they have this huge capacity of using the hydroelectric power, right? And Germany and India with a goal set as 2030, and England and France setting their goal as 2040. So to change the energy market in Texas, we need to think about some serious changes. The United States could reduce energy consumption by 23%. That's almost a quarter. And if we waste less energy, this is comparable to other resources too, right? Waste of the water, uh, waste of the food. The producing already is expensive. 
So we better conserve energy. That is save us one quarter of money. Wow, that's a lot. And、uh, sometimes we can reuse the energy released from other processes. It's called cogenerations. That captures waste heat from power plants and use it as additional source of heating or cooling. And Denmark has been able to provide more than half of its household heating with coal generation technology. It's like they recycling the energy. I want you to be aware of this vampire power. A quarter of the energy used by home electronics is consumed when the devices are turned off but still plugged in. Very interesting. If we we still have them plugged in, the energy still go away. So we better disconnect it, or use a power strip that be easily switched off. Self driving cars. Very interesting. They're very energy efficient. But I recently came across the news:、um, a bunch of people falling asleep in the in those、uh, self driving cars in Canada, and they got convicted by. By、uh, giving,、um, by giving traffic tickets, it,、uh, the police said it's too dangerous. So we、we'll、probably want to wait a little bit longer to explore those. When a greenhouse is not a greenhouse, I I, I want everybody to go to YouTube watch the video. This is one of the most beautiful greenhouses I ever seen, and one of the greenest building in the world. It's completely powered by renewable energy. Oh my goodness, this is very very eye opening、uh, experience. So please go and check the videos on the YouTube and feel free to explore more and to see.、Um, this could be done. I mean, we we don't have to rely on the fossil fuel energy like eighty percent. There are alternatives, and we better think about them. So, how what could drive transition away from fossil fuels? Market forces, my government policies, infrastructure, technology, and individual actions. The cost of wind and solar energy has fallen steadily. You can see from this、um, curve here, it's been dro、uh, dropping. Down a lot compared to ten years ago. And energy research and development is now focused on devising energy storage solution, the better ways to distribute power. It's not like we cannot have power now because of the old infrastructure still there, right? The electricity poles and the lines, and now we have much more energy produced. We even don't. Know where to put them. That's a big challenge. We can、uh, construct a a dam like this, but the United States currently has storage capacity for just two percent of the energy it generates. So think about how to store energy. That is a huge step、um, to go forward. That's why、um, there is this、uh, microgrid technology. That is、um, now we all say the power is on the grids. That that is、uh, for energy storage and the distribution. And the largest battery being developed in Long Beach, California, is able to deliver 100 megawatts per to power 100,000 homes for only four hours. So how to? Restore the energy is really a big challenge, and the microgrid technology is also being developed. When they are combined to form a larger grid with a better ability to adapt to or to dis、uh, disruptions in the system. So we only think about creating more power.、Mm, think about how to store the power. Okay, like the solar power. How can you use the solar solar power at night? Not only by batteries. I mean, so government actions—they have a huge influence, right? They are support for R&D, tax advantages, regulation of the industry, and funding the infrastructure. 
So we count on our government to make smart decisions, right? So vote for the smart leaders, re really putting the renewable energy routes in their heart. So um, what can we do? We can make smart choices, right? We can vote for smart politicians. And we can buy electric vehicles. And we can join the campaign to save the electricity. And we know LED save most of the energy, right? So don't use those traditional light bulbs anymore unless you don't have other options. And last thing, I want to recall your attention on German government policies. Okay, they have aggressive actions taken. Um, and their strategies pays off because it lowers the impact on the climate, it creates new fields of business. If German could do it, we can do it. Okay, German does not have that much potential for solar and wind, but still you can see how much they achieve. This concludes my lecture.